feel like I look so formal today. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day today. So you might be wondering whilst I'm sat here with like a shirt on, like a red shirt, like who do I think I am? And that is because in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be getting ready with you guys for work. So I was quite lucky today. I have a later shift for work, so I knew the lighting was going to be okay. So I thought, you know what? Let's just all get ready together. So if you would like to see what my makeup routine is for when I get ready for work and basically my favourite products really, then just keep watching. Okay, so obviously I've already done my eyebrows. I just used the Revolution. Rev I can't speak today. I just used the Revolution Brow Pomade. Um, I don't even know what shade mine is actually. Medium brown. Um, to do my eyebrows, use it all the time. Nice and easy easy to use and then I've just concealed and like called them out so now we're just gonna jump straight into foundation so I decided to use the LA Girl Pro Matte foundation today I don't usually use this on a day-to-day -day basis because I've only actually used it the once but I've only got a short shift at work today but I'm gonna be out the house for about six hours so I'm gonna give this a go okay is my pump broken or something what the hell is going on here So the reason I decided to use this foundation today is because I used it before, like once before in the first impressions, um, and I'm not sure if that video is going to go up before this one or after this one, but I used it in a first impressions and I really, really liked it. I felt like it was going to be a really good like everyday foundation for me, but I haven't had a chance to like properly test it after that. So I'm gonna try and like proper test it out today because obviously six hours is quite a long time. I'm not gonna wash it off the second I get in. So um, yeah, if you wanna know my opinions on this foundation, then just um, let me know. I could do like, a, it wouldn't really be like a first impressions review, but I could do a review on the whole foundation. Okay, and now I've like blended it all into my skin with a brush. Now, as I always have done, I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender. It's just a real technique sponge. But what I have been doing is I've been spraying it with my setting spray. So this is just the Primark Matte spray, Setting Spray, but my sprayer on this is actually broken, so I can't really use it on my face because it literally just ruins my makeup. But I do use it on my sponge because the way this makes my makeup last, I absolutely love it, but I really need to go and get another one because like I said, my spray is broken, which really sucks. So Kane just came upstairs and threw me off what I was saying, but basically what I was trying to say was, I spray it on my sponge, pat it off on the back of my hand, and then as I'm obviously pressing the foundation like, into my skin so it lasts longer, the setting spray is also gonna make it last longer. So it's like a win-win basically. <laughs> I can't believe my spray was broken. The reason I pat it off on my hand as well is because you don't want your sponge to actually be too wet because then it doesn't really like it just basically takes foundation off like so Okay, so the lighting might have changed a bit. It was getting quite dark already, but yeah, it was getting quite dark, so I decided to put the ring light on. But um, I really, really like this foundation. I really think I'm gonna like it. I hope it lasts all day. I really think it will. It just feels set already. Like, and I have oily skin, and I genuinely don't feel like I need to set this. I'm going to set it anyway, just for my own peace of mind, because obviously I am quite oily, and I do need it to last all day. But literally, it feels like powder. It's so weird. Um, yeah, I really like it. I like how it makes my skin look also. It is a little bit too dark though, like you could probably see around here. I would definitely need to bring it down as far as um, whatever I'm wearing or add in like a lightning drop foundation or something like that. But yeah, I really like it. The shade that I used was um, Nude. So if they do a lighter one of this, I will look and I might even pick that up. But so far so good, I'm really liking it. I love you, thank you for my tea. Bye. 
Okay, and now I'm actually going to try another new product. It's not by any means new, like it's been out for ages, but I'm just way behind the trend and haven't tried it yet. So this is the Conceal and Hydrate Concealer by Revolution. I have the Conceal and Define, but I don't really like it anymore. I feel like it's way too much. Like I just don't like it. And when I put it on, it dries really quick. So I have to blend it out really quickly as well. I just don't like that. I like, like not that I want to take my time, but I don't like it when you have a concealer down and then you kind of have to blend it straight away. So I wanted to try this out today. I already tried it on my eyebrows. It blended out really nicely. So here goes nothing, I suppose. This is the shade C0.2, by the way, just in case you were wondering. I really hope that these products last well because if they don't I am in trouble because I'm at work and there's nothing I can do about it. Okay now that that is all blended in I'm gonna go in with my setting powder. The setting powder that I literally cannot stop using is the RCMA No Colour Powder. I've literally not stopped using this since I tried it again like um last year sometime but this is the best setting powder ever and I just take that on my sponge and yeah I'm just gonna set my face. Okay, so I've just um, wiped the bake off from under my eyes and I just quickly wanted to tell you guys like why I use my sponge to set my face now. The reason I do that is because I genuinely feel like it helps to keep my makeup a lot down longer because I'm pushing product into my skin and not just laying it on top. It's not like just a layer on top of your skin, it's genuinely like being pushed in and I genuinely feel like it makes my makeup last so much longer. Another step that I've added into my routine is setting my face throughout doing my makeup. So once I've set on my face, wipe my bake off, I'm then gonna go back in with my setting spray, set my face, wait for it to dry and then carry on with my makeup. And just quickly whilst I wait for that to dry, the reason I set my face as well is because it helps to like melt the products into my skin again. Um, so, obviously again helping to keep my makeup on longer and obviously because it is a setting spray it's again helping with the longevity of my makeup and how long i can wear it for so that is why i also do that i really wish my spray wasn't broke for this though because it actually makes me so angry okay and now that the setting spray has soaked into my skin and is dried and all that good stuff i'm gonna go in with my bronzer and the bronzer that i've been loving at the minute is the collection bronze glow matte bronzer i'm not even 100 percent sure you can still buy this because i know i've had this in my collection for a while but just never used it and then i used it for the first time like a few months ago and i really like the color of it i really like how it blends out and i just i really like it and i know it's really cheap as well so i kind of don't mind using it every day for work so it's super sheer at first and you really do have to like build it up but i i really like that in a bronzer especially when i'm rushing it in the morning because it means i can go in quite heavy handed and um i don't really have to worry about it going on too harsh so yeah that's why i like this a lot for when i'm going to work because i'm not gonna lie i am the kind of person that runs late all the time and um running late really stresses me out so i like to be able to just chuck stuff on my face as quickly as possible and yeah just get the job done really i really 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 like the color of this bronzer as well it's really warm but i really like it even though i'm super pale like unless i've got fake tan on even though i am super pale i i like to look warm and bronzed i feel like because i'm so pale that's why because i feel like i literally look like i'm dying if i don't look bronzed so yeah i really like a warm bronzer and this is super warm like when i i feel like that's why i haven't used it much like until a couple months ago and i feel like it's because it looks so dark but because it's so like sheer when you first put it on i'm able to go in quite heavy handed and just build it up really nicely so it's like a new little fave for work this is you also use it to bronze up my nose a little bit just lightly i don't contour my nose when i go to work because honestly my nose doesn't bother me at all like it just doesn't so i don't really feel like i need to contour it but i do feel like when i bronze the rest of my face the middle of my face can look so like dull and flat so 
just to kind of blend it all in with the rest of my face that's why i bronze up my nose just a little bit and then just to neaten up that line a little bit underneath my bronzer i just go in with some setting powder and i basically reverse contour and just create like a nice sharp line and you end up looking a little bit crazy like this I have literally got setting powder all over me right now. Okay, and then whilst that is baking, I then go in with blush. And the blush that I've been using for work every day lately is the NYX Illuminator blush in the shade Chaotic. So it's like super dark, but it has like a nice gold um, shimmer to it. I really like it. It is quite pigmented, but I kind of like it. I always, always prefer a non-pigmented blush. But when I'm rushing in the morning, I literally just tap my brush in quickly, like, Put it on with a fluffy brush and that's why i like it so much because um it's so quick again i'm not even sure if you can still get this blush anymore because i have had this for a while now um and it's not very often that i go to like repurchase a blush i've honestly never gotten through like a full blush has anyone ever gotten through like a full br blush because i know for a fact that i haven't so when i use blushes i never know if they're still in stock because i never look for them it just adds like a nice bit of a healthy glow to my cheeks and that's what i like about it and i just blend it in to my bronzer as best as i can just so you don't have like weird lines in between them and then i do just take a little bit and i just go over the top of my nose as well done and dusted and then on to highlights i'm going to be taking the doll light duo palette and i'm going to be taking the lightest shade out of the palette um i can't actually like lift the palette up because i've still not glued it in because i'm so lazy but yeah that's the the highlight i'm going to be using i think it's the one shine bright or it might be like a diamond i really don't know it's one it's the lightest one anyway if i just try it's this one so scared of this falling out and smashing now Again, I use this in my full face of first impressions and I absolutely love this highlighter. Um, like, I don't really feel like I need to say anything. It literally makes your skin look wet and so healthy and so glowy. I love it. But again, I don't know whether it's going to be out before or after this video. It will be in my full face of first impressions. And let me just tell you, there was a situation with this highlighter. So, yeah. <laughs> stunning absolutely stunning on to eyeshadow now i really don't do a lot when i go to work and a lot of time if i don't have the time i won't even do this step but the eyeshadow that i always reach for is the rachel leary goddess on the go palette and i just use either this shade peach please or straight fire which are so this one here is peach please and this one here is straight fire I use either one of those as like an all over lid shade and then that's kind of it. So today I'm gonna go in with Straight Fire, which is this one here on the end. And I just kind of build it up as I go and then I blend it out a little bit afterwards. Just like so okay and then today for inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight i'm actually just gonna again use the rachel leary goddess on the go palette and i'm just gonna take the shade um caramel latte coconut latte coconut latte oh and if you have an anastasia beverly hills palette you know that brush you get in the palette honestly this brush is the best inner corner and brow bone highlight brush i've ever used i love it so obviously that side, the fluffy side I used to do my inner corner and then I just flip it over and use like the more dense size to do my brow bone. I love it. I love this brush so much. I actually got this idea off of um, Hannah Renee. She mentioned this brush like a while ago. She, it's like her go-to brush. And honestly, I understand why. Okay, so now that all that is done, I'm going to quickly... Um, I was gonna say set my eyebrows do you set your eyebrows with eyebrow gel anyway i'm gonna um run some eyebrow gel through my eyebrows and 
obviously no shock i'm using the nyx tinted brow mascara love this one so much mine is in the shade espresso i love it and this one is definitely on its last legs now i'm definitely gonna have to open up my new one okay and now that the eyebrows are done i'm just quickly gonna wipe off the bake i use a smaller brush first and then i just go in with like a big fluffy brush just to make sure it's definitely all gone and then I set my face and the setting spray that I love um, to wear to work is the Revolution Matte Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. I love this, mine's just about ran out which is why I went out and repurchased the Primark setting spray but that one is obviously broken and um, yeah I need to go and get a new setting spray because in a few days I'm not going to have any. That has such a good spray on it, it's so nice. It has a bit of a funky smell though, not gonna lie. Okay, and now that the setting spray has set my face, I'm just gonna quickly go off camera, I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm also going to apply some mascara and the mascara I'm using is the Super Glory Thick and Fast Mascara, my go-to, you guys know I love this. So yeah, I'm gonna jump off camera and do that because it's so boring watching people apply mascara, so. I shall be back. Okay, and this is basically the end look for makeup wise in this video, but I am just gonna go in with a matte lipstick. So this is the Revolution Matte Lipstick in Bow Down. I believe you can't actually get this anymore. I think you can only get it um, in the, it was like a Christmas box, like a lipstick box. Um, but obviously, this is just what I like to wear when I go to work, sorry guys, but I will find a similar color for you. Um, and I'll link it in the description. Okay, so I'm not even sure how much of that you guys would have seen because I got so close to the mirror, sorry. I always do it when I'm applying um, lipstick, so sorry about that. I can't decide whether I'm gonna leave it matte or make it glossy, but if I do apply a gloss, I'm gonna put the Sexy Mother Pucker Lipstick on by Soap and Glory in the shade Bare Enough. So if I put a gloss on, that's the gloss that I use, but for right now, I'm just gonna let that dry. And now, in the next steps of getting ready for work, I'm going to put my uniform on. So when you next see me, I shall be in my uniform. Hello again, in me reds. Wilco gang. Yeah, so all dressed for work now, just need to straighten my hair. I don't do a lot when I get ready for work at all because I'm just not that bothered about my hair, if I'm honest. I never put it up because wearing my hair up, because I have my hair so tight, it really gives me a headache and I really can't wear my hair up anymore because it just hurts my head so much. So yeah, I literally just straightened it, parted it in the middle and yeah. So I'm going to jump on camera again because I really don't think that you guys want to see me straighten my hair. I'm going to straighten my hair and then yeah, I'll be back and we'll be ready for work. Okay, and this is basically the finished look. Um, yeah this is what i really do when i get ready for work super easy so obviously a lot of the products that i use today are like my go-to's bar a few i think it was just the foundation and the concealer that i don't usually use but i'm actually quite happy with them i feel like i'm going to try them out a little bit more when i have longer shifts at work but obviously it just depends on um how will they last today but hopefully they last really well i hope they do but yeah this is all i do when i get ready for work so thank you guys so much for keeping me company whilst i got ready today i really appreciate it um usually i would just sit and watch a stream or i'd watch like a couple youtubers or whatever um so yeah it was kind of nice to get ready with you guys today i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video um i don't know how it would be helpful to you but if it was helpful to you then that's great <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really do hope that you enjoyed this video if you like videos like this then just let me know and i'll be happy to do them more often and yeah i shall speak to you all soon bye oh don't forget to like comment and subscribe <laughs>